Good evening, everyone. It's the Pepper Virgin here, and I'm back with another one of these videos for you. And today I got... Max the Wave. And we're here to give you the most transparent review possible. Today, the culprit is none other than Takis. And they decided to make kettle chips. Let's bring it up a little closer. It says Habanero Fury. So, if you guys see... Let's put, see if we can get a, a thumbnail there. Come close. Pardon, pardon us. We're just trying to do some logistics here. Anyways, um, there isn't really a passage on here. It just says follows, uh, follow us on Takis USA and all that other good stuff. But there is a ingredients list. And we're going to give you these ingredients lists just so we know what we're diving into. See if there's any seed on the roller coaster. If there's any spice at all. You ready? All right. So it says potato vegetable oil, which is palm and or canola, soybean oil. For seasoning, it says maltodextrin, salt, citric acid, MSG, yummy. Natural and artificial flavors, potassium chloride, vegetable oil, canola, sugar, dextrose, calcium, silicate, modified cornstarch, and a bunch of lakes. Yellow five, lake, yellow six, lake, and it's also made in a facility that also uses milk, egg, wheat, soy, and peanuts. It is made in Mexico, just in case you guys did not know. Anyways, without further ado, we are here to see if we can give you a review on these Takis. Pop them open. Wow, it actually smells like peppers. You guys notice there isn't a lot of coating on there. What do you think it smells like? It smells kind of like Pringles and a little bit of habanero sauce. Too. Right? All right. All right. So go ahead. Dig in there. Let's see. I'm going to put a couple on here so they can see the mountain. All right. I'm going to keep this here for oh, the pictures. Cheers. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I don't know. All right, so. I got the, like this very bitter taste, right? It's like salt and vinegar. Yeah. Aside from the salt and vinegar, it's just like a tad bit saltier than usual. Now, there is a little kick to it. It's nothing out of this world. If I had to say, I would go for a one and a half to two. Pushing two, if anything, the most. How about you, Max? From one to ten, how hot is it? I'll get about a 5.6. 5.6 from the wave over here. Now, flavor. Do you think it tastes good? Well, yeah, it tastes really good. It tastes good, but at the same time, it's spicy habanero sauce and, you know, what? I'll say to me, I'll give it a seven, eight-ish. I would, I'd give it a little lower than that. Um, I would say just because it tastes like a stale salt and vinegar chip instead of a fresh salt and vinegar chip, I'd give it a five for flavor. I'd give it about a two for heat. Um, is it worth it? I guess if you're a Takis fan, just to try it, I would definitely. Um, but as far as like, from liking it, I'm not too fond of it. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this was it. It's the Pepper Virgin and Max the Wave here. Coming at you live with the most transparent review possible. We will be back with more of these, definitely. But you already know what to do in the meantime. Like, share, subscribe. It helps the channel, helps us get out there and have other people take a peek at these videos. Um, you already know, until next time.